Officials in the city of Garland say a recent spike in animal cruelty cases has created a concerning trend for them. Our Kim Molestina joins us from our CBSN DFW studio to explain how they are hoping to put an end to this troubling behavior. It's really sad, Ken. Yeah, it sure is, Brooke. And you know, their approach is one that is bringing city animal service officials, police investigators, and even the district attorney's office in Dallas County into a three prong approach to help and stop this. That's how serious it is. They fear that the pandemic continuing, they'll see cases continuing to grow. Meet Captain, a happy pup that was recently rescued from an abuser who left him abandoned without food and water. His happiness now is a stark contrast to the condition he was found in, emaciated and near death until Garland Animal Services stepped in. As you can see now, he's put on 10 plus pounds and he's made a full recovery. Art Munoz heads the animal services in Garland. He says Captain's case is just one example of the kind of abuse and cruelty cases spiking in their city. They have had more than a dozen since earlier this year and throughout the course of the pandemic. Failure to provide food, water, and basic care. Now they're forming an animal cruelty division to help address these cases. A four person team made up of animal services members, Garland Police, and the district attorney's office will be dedicated to stopping this form of cruelty. Yeah, what we want to do is make sure that we're handling these cases right away um, and making sure that we're getting animals out of situations um, in a timely manner. I figured it would be a great joint effort to be more effective and successful in solving these cases. Garland police say they're seeing an increase in all kinds of domestic related abuse cases and now they're looking into how much the stresses of the pandemic might be responsible for leading people to abuse their own pets. It could be you know, stress related uh, finances, uh, just the current situation. So we consider a number of factors. Munoz says their message is a clear one. So if you abuse an animal in the city of Garland, you will be held accountable. Well, the animal cruelty division team is set to be assembled by November. And Brooke, we're being told that as they work towards that, police have already made three arrests of people they say are responsible for more of these uh, cases that they have been documenting there recently.